so much condensation, so much destruction on these things. I mean, look at this one. Uh, it looks all right, but you peel it back and there's mold spores growing all over that thing. Wait, so the IICRC states that mold will begin to grow between 48 and 72 hours. We were doing a controlled experiment, so it's not gonna replicate what is gonna happen in your house. We had relatively low humidity, uh, low temperatures, and no constant water pressures. So it probably took a lot longer to grow here than it might in your house. We were only testing how the different drywalls compare with one another, not necessarily how long it takes for the actual mold to grow. So how fast does mold grow? Well, under ideal conditions, which is optimal temperature and optimal humidity, Mold takes about 24 to 48 hours to start germinating and growing. Typically, the spores begin to colonize in about 3 to 12 days and will become visible about 18 to 21 days. Now, this varies greatly depending on where you are and what kind of environment you're in. So, we're not replicating what's going to happen in your house. If anything, you're going to need to act sooner because it could be a lot faster and worse in your house. That being said, we got some pretty cool results. Hey guys, it's Patrick here from Monarch Claims and we're about to go to Home Depot and get um, some samples of different types of drywall because we really want to see which type of drywall is more susceptible to mold and we want to do a little controlled experiment. So we got two different types of drywall, uh, both sheetrock brand. This is the standard uh, interior paneling, um, nothing special, just standard drywall. And this is the mold tough, uh, mold resistant type X gypsum panel. So it's supposed to fare a little better with mold. And what I'm about to do is crack them into just small samples so we can isolate them in our plastic tub, uh, get them wet, cover it up and let that moisture just resonate and see which one develops mold faster. So we wrapped it all up so that it's airtight. Um, we made sure all of the panel samples were wet and that there was a little bit of standing water at the bottom to simulate maybe some sort of leakage or drain. I haven't seen that many controlled studies uh, for drywall um, mold buildup. So we're thinking it could take anywhere from five days to 15 days, who knows? But uh, we're gonna find out which type of drywall grows mold the fastest and how long that takes. After 10 days, the non-resistant drywall started showing mold. It wasn't until the 21st day that the mold resistant gypsum paneling started growing mold. So much condensation, so much destruction on these things. I mean, look at this one. Uh, it looks all right, but you peel it back and there's mold spores growing all over that thing. This feels absolutely weak. I could probably break it in half and it would crumble like a piece of cake. This one is disgusting as you can see. Uh, it's it's water filled to the brim. It, there's mold everywhere on it. It looks disgusting. It feels disgusting. So these two are the regular ones. As you can see the, the mold resistant drywall did a lot better than, than the, the uh, non mold resistant drywall. I mean it's what it's supposed to do. However there is still mold to be seen on the mold resistant. This one is in so much better shape than the other one. It feels so much harder. However, there's mold here, there's mold here, there's mold here. It's organic material, so I mean, it can grow mold. This one, I'm not seeing much mold, but I think there might be a couple little spots right here. And I mean, I don't know, if I, if I were to put up drywall and I lived in a humid area and there was chance for leakage, I would want uh, mold resistant drywall. I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding right here. So as you guys probably know, um, Mold can be kind of hard to detect. This one, it's a bit easier, but it can cause a wide array of health issues. It can be due to a different issue. So you see mold on your ceiling, you don't paint over it. Don't clean it off. You have to find the source. It could be a broken sink. It could be a broken tile on your roof. It could garner. Your entire roof needs to be replaced. So mold is a very serious issue and it's important not to just address the mold itself, but address the cause of the mold, as you can see. I'm Pat from Monarch Claims. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our experiment. If you liked it, if you disliked it, let us know in the comments. Um, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. As we found out, 
mold resistant drywall really works. I mean, there's a hugely significant difference between the two types of drywall. And we've seen in this controlled experiment how long it takes for the mold to develop. Thanks.